If you feel like you're struggling with Spanish lately, this video is for you. Especially if you're a beginner to the Spanish language and you're not feeling a ton of progress, or maybe you're seeing people who are better at Spanish than you, who maybe have been learning longer, or even learning the same amount of time, but just are better than you at the moment. That can be really discouraging, so this video is definitely for you if you identify with one of these things. Being a beginner or just learning in the beginning of a new language, it sucks. It's, it's hard. It's not fun to be the beginner. It's not fun to know a lot. Whether it's anything, whether it's a new sport, whether it's a new activity, being the newbie is not a lot of fun and it can be really difficult at times. Learning Spanish is no different. You see people who are a lot better than you and you have these terrible thoughts that enter your mind such as, why am I not as good as them? Or am I doing something wrong? or will I ever be that good? The answer is, simply put, with Spanish especially, yes. If you trust the process, if you stay consistent, if you keep trying, you will get there. There are so many times with my Spanish learning journey where I thought, I'm never gonna learn this, I'm never gonna be fluent, and there are multiple occasions where I wanted to quit, and I'll talk about a specific occasion in just a few moments. Understand that just because you're having those thoughts about giving up on Spanish, it, it makes you normal, it makes you a normal human being, and everyone who's ever learned Spanish has gone through it, I guarantee it. You'll see people, especially on social media, acting like it's super easy, or that you know, you're never gonna have ups and downs, and that's just not true. I have hundreds hundreds and hundreds of students within my Spanish program and I get emails all the time with people who feel discouraged and the people that stick with it I always hear them say wow you were so right I trusted the process and I got over that and now I'm feeling good with Spanish I relate Spanish learning a lot to climbing a mountain it's a lot easier to go down the mountain than it is to climb up it climbing up the mountain is what you're doing when you're first starting to learn Spanish getting the feel for the language getting over those humps getting over those verb conjugations and all this new vocabulary and training your brain and almost tricking it and programming it in a way to speak in a completely new language is really difficult. But once you get to the top, that doesn't mean you're fluent, but it means that you've gotten over the hardest part, which is the beginning, and now the way down is so much easier. You have a feel for the language, you have a grasp for it, you're starting to understand it more, you feel a lot more comfortable with it, and then it's just a matter of practice and repetition, and by this point, you're already having a lot more fun with it. You've got some friends that speak Spanish now, you're speaking it more, it's becoming a part of your life, it's not as hard to look at your phone in Spanish and, and be confused by it. I promise that you'll get to that point if you stay consistent. I specifically remember spending about two to three months to learn what I thought was every verb conjugation. I, I looked through a verb conjugation book and I'm like, present, know it, past, know it, future, know it, conditional, know it. I'm like, I can speak in any tense I want. I can speak in the past, the present, the future. I can say whatever I want in Spanish. And then I saw something called the subjunctive tense. And I was like, people don't really use that right. I looked through that and I went, there's no way this is real. I looked up videos on YouTube and sure enough, the subjunctive mood is technically a mood. I looked it up and figured out that, wow, people actually use this a lot in Spanish and I have no idea how to use it. I wanted to quit right then and there. I, I vividly remember going to this game room we had in my house and just, I almost wanted to cry. I was like, screw this, I hate Spanish now. I spent all of this time trying to learn all of these different verbs. I thought I knew Spanish. Come to find out, I've gotta learn all of these new conjugations now. It was so discouraging, but after a few hours, I kinda got over it. I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna sit down for a couple of hours, figure this out and I'm gonna do it all over again and that's exactly what I did and eventually I realized that it wasn't that hard it was just uh, had to have a mindset shift and thank goodness I did it if I hadn't have done that I probably never would have met my wife I never I wouldn't have the life that I have right now so I don't want you to quit Spanish just because it gets a little bit hard just because it gets frustrating I want you to know that it's normal to have those feelings and it's no reason to give up. Everyone has been through it. You can ask any one of my students. There's not a single student of mine that has gone through my Spanish program and felt 100% good all of the time. Every single one has felt frustrated, but the ones that stick with it always come out on the other side so thankful that they stuck with it. 
So if you're learning Spanish, I'm telling you, stick with it. Don't feel discouraged and understanding that it's worth it and you have to trust the process. There's gonna be people who learn faster than you and you're also gonna have moments where you learn faster than other people, so that's okay. If you want a little bit more guidance and you want more of a roadmap when it comes to learning Spanish, if you wanna learn what I did, my method, what I focused on, what I didn't focus on, and you wanna know also about the resources that I used to learn Spanish, all of these things I've put together into a free masterclass. It's 100% free to you. All you gotta do is click on the link in the description and you can sign up for that and you can be watching it today. I highly encourage you to check this out if you're feeling a little bit lost or overwhelmed with Spanish and you want more of a clear roadmap and, and know exactly what to do, especially if you wanna learn it as quickly as possible. You know, you don't wanna waste years trying to figure it out. Other than that though, guys, I hope that this video really did help you out if you're feeling stuck and unmotivated with Spanish because I've been there Everyone I know who's learned Spanish has also been there, part of the language learning process. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you want more videos like this. And if you're learning Spanish, I'd love to be a part of this language learning journey with you. If you're not following me on Instagram at Michael Harper Spanish, I'll see you in the next video. Ciao.